Hello, welcome to your yoga, yoga for young ones. My name is Nayeli and I'm so happy to practice with you. Today, in our practice, we're going to learn about bees. Did you know that without bees, some of our favorite fruits, veggies, and flowers wouldn't be able to grow? Bees help by moving pollen from one flower to another, helping flowers grow. This is called pollination. Today, we're going to pretend we are bees and we're going to journey from flower to flower, spreading the pollen, moving our body, and helping beautiful flowers to blossom. So if you're ready, let's practice together. to your side. Your arms are going to be your V wings. Take a deep breath in, bring both wings up, look up, and then lower down. You're warming up your V wings. Looking up and down. Your wings come up and down. Now, bees make a special sound. It is That is your bee sound. Now, let's keep warming these wings before we take off. Lift one arm up, then lean towards the other side. Here, look up and buzz like a bee. Lift, lower your arms, bring the other arm up, lean towards the other side, look up and buzz like a bee. Coming back to center, lower your hand down. Now your wings are all warm up and we're ready to fly as a bee to get to the first beautiful flower. Bring the soles of your feet together. Bring your hands under your legs and lift your feet up for flower pose. So look at your flower your shoulders are away from your ears. Now imagine the color of your flower. Mine is pink. What's your flower? What's the color of your flower? Great, now lower down. B is already in that beautiful flower. Bring your hands to the mat, the knees to the mat. Here. Stretch out one leg and the opposite arm. Imagine this bee is grabbing the beautiful nectar from the flower. And lower your hands. Now opposite leg, opposite hand, same. Reach for the yummy nectar from this flower. Nice, lower your hand down lower your knee, tuck your toes, and lift your sit bones up. Take one deep breath here. <sighs> Bend your knees and jump forward. Very slowly come all the way up, 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 up. Beautiful. Now, warm up your wings to fly to the next flower. Standing nice and tall, bring both hands up, palms touch, and lean to one side. Open your wings and buzz like a bee. Coming back to center and lower to the other side. Coming back to 
to center, your palms touch and bring them to your heart. You found this beautiful flower with delicious nectar. Now let's call our friends so they can come and see the other flowers that are around. Bring your hands to your waist. One big step back. Your front knee bends. Stretch your arms out. Beautiful. Now call your friends. Hey friends, there are beautiful flowers here. Good nectar around here. And stretch your arm. Oh, nobody has showed up. Let's see on the other side. Turn your toes. The other leg bends. Bend your knee. Here, let's call your friends. Hey friends. Colorful flowers are around here. Yummy nectar around here. Oh, nobody has come. You bring your hands to your waist and bring your feet together. I think we're doing it wrong. Bees dance to let their friends know that there are beautiful flowers with lots of yummy nectar. So let's practice dancer pose. And that way we can call our bee friends. So standing neck and toe here, leave one foot up, but catch your foot with one hand. Now slowly start stretching out, extend your arm forward. You can stay here or you can practice your dance, reaching forward. Stretching your leg and come back. Now the other side, lift your foot up, reach with your hand, stay here or begin to lean forward and reach. Beautiful. Now with this dance, lots of bees know that there are beautiful flowers with lots of nectar. Now they are going to help to bring the pollen to different flowers. Bring your hands together and lower all the way down. You help your hands sit on the ground, bring the soles of your feet together. Hands come under. Lift your feet up for flower pose. And when you are in this flower as a bee, you get lots of pollen in your body. Lower down, stretch your legs and brush the pollen from this flower. Nice. And one more. Good. Bring the soles of your feet together. Here, bring your nose as close as you can to your toes. <sighs> Lower down. Beautiful. Flowers have lines that guide bees to where the nectar is. And once they have their full tummy, it's ready to fly back home. So let's see if you have a full tummy. Crisscross applesauce, hands back, and lift your bum up. It looks like you have lots of nectar. And lower down. Now the bee has lots of nectar in its tummy and it's ready to take a little rest. Coming to your knees. Sit on your heels and slowly lower your forehead to the ground, hands to the side. As you lower down, buzz like a bee. Ready? Now here, let's take three deep breaths. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
one, two, and three. Bring your hands to the side and slowly slow. Now see your legs sitting nice and tall. Bring your hands to your heart and let's take one deep breath before we finish this time together. Breathe in. And Thank you for being here. See you next week.